I wandered back into the dining room to see Roswell and Tyson facing one another. Quickly, I looked to the others, who seemed to be swapping looks just as confused as I was. What do you want? Roswell seemed to be readying to say something. His brow furrowed as he thought things through. Part of me hoped that he was about, wasn't about to pick a fight, as unlikely as that seemed. While everyone is here, I want to apologize. For what? You know what for. Tyson looked Roswell over, eyes narrowing only slightly before he nodded to the boar. All right. Everyone seemed to be giving Roswell the floor to speak, and just as well. I'm not going to lie. You were the last person I wanted to come onto this trip with us. Come onto the trip? <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, uh, I guess they stayed at the table after Dave walked away to stand in the middle of the room eating his sandwiches. I thought they, I, I, I intuitively felt like they would have left to go watch anime. So I didn't think, I didn't think that we'd be coming back to them still being here. Yeah. <clears throat> you were an asshole to us when we were younger. I hated you for that. This is a great apology so far. I'm getting there. It's that very attitude that frustrates me. How can Dave move on from that? What does he even see in you? I just had the realization Fantastic that my Roswell... apology. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I just realized that my Roswell impression is like two degrees of separation from a Lisa Simpson impression, and I'm enjoying this quite a bit more now that I realized that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like actually pretty close. Look, looks at the weird framed picture of Apu that's in her bedroom. That just seems like a problem that needs to be resolved at a later date. <laughs> exactly. I never have actually seen that episode. I have no fucking clue, but it's upsetting to me that she, she just has a picture of Apu on her nightstand. <laughs> I don't know what the context for that is. I know the I know the real life controversy context, but I don't know why the fuck she would have a picture of Apu in her room. <laughs> what the fuck? But that doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Me not being able to move on shouldn't and doesn't invalidate any improvements you've made to yourself in the time I wasn't around. So by extension, me taking it out on you, taking pot shots when I had no right to, put me in the wrong, no matter the reason. So I'm sorry. Tyson sighed, scratching his neck. Look, I get it, I do. I didn't think you had the balls to be honest, but I'm glad you got to vent. But whatever it was. But sure, apology accepted. And while I'm at it, I'm sorry too. Not that it makes up for it, but that's how it goes. That's a new face. Wow. Once again, Tyson... <laughs> once again, Tyson proving he is the most emotionally intelligent and mature character in the entire cast. Yeah, both knowing to offer an apology while also knowing to acknowledge that an apology doesn't just magically fix things and he got and a also new, a whole new not dwelling yeah. he's not dwelling on roswell being a dick to him yep he didn't have to make a whole comment about it uh that's a, that's a sad face <laughs> oh i don't think we've seen that one before introspective aside really look at uh, Getting invited to this thing was great of Dave to do, if, you know, a dick move on his part. <laughs> yes, call out Dave. Everyone in the room looked at me, and I started and I stared back at Tyson, uncertain of what he meant. Oh, Dave. 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 What do you mean by that? Uncertain of what he meant. 
everyone knows what he means. So that's really <laughs> damning if you don't. What did I do? Hmm. Well, I wasn't going to say this, but it seemed like a jerk move to invite Tyson along without checking with us. Yeah, you don't say? Yeah. It's almost like Tyson spent the first three or four days just working out in the basement alone, not interacting with anyone because of how obviously bad this whole plan was. All right. Seems like something you'd want to run by everyone first. Sorry, Dave, but if I knew you were going to invite Tyson, I'd, uh... Yeah. What is happening? Why isn't my Discord updating? Oh. There we go. He's dead. Uh, no, my, my Discord froze for a second. Are, am I still here? Are you still getting me? Yep. Okay. Discord just uh, breaks more and more as time goes on. I'm glad that they're charging so many subscriptions for the optimum service. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the screen just like froze and then the window shut and then it popped back open. So if I disappeared yeah. for a second, sorry. Uh, I'm sorry too. Yeah, nowadays Discord just print just periodically restarts in the middle of using it and I can't tell if it's because of an like a forced update or a crash half the time. Yeah. I'm just like, oh I'm looking at my friends list again. What what happened this time? Why are you sorry, Sal? You do something wrong too? Not that I know of, but it seems to be what everyone is doing. Sal's just like Dumb as a gag, I guess. Well, hey, no need to apologize if you've done nothing wrong. True, but Dave, why didn't you check with everyone? That was a quick pivot from apology to accusation. <laughs> there you go, Sal. <laughs> yeah, Dave, I think it's a fair enough question to be asking. You think everyone would have said no? Well, kinda, yeah. That makes it worse, Dave. <laughs> that makes it worse if you were like everyone's gonna if you consciously knew everyone was gonna object, object to it, so you just did it on the sly and just had and intentionally set up a situation that everyone is going to just have to deal with, which also makes you look worse because it also means that you were just playing dumb a second ago and you're like, what? What did I do? The conscious premeditated thing I did. <laughs> And why? I, uh, I looked at Tyson, who had his attention on me, too. He's my friend. And that's enough, pup. It's not all on him. I knew that I knew what the go was. I accept it anyway, so there's that. Okay, well, I'm sorry, but no buts. You own up to it like a man. I whined, hanging my head. It was my fault. I should have checked. Apologize again, yeah, because you just said but, you loser. Roswell? Orlando? I... I'm sorry. Especially to you two. I should have, you know, checked. This vacation was meant to be for all of us. So it would have been nice to know who you decided to invite. But I can't hold it against you. It's not like I bothered to check. Roswell, you literally could have told him no. We, there was a moment where you saw this happen at the beginning and you went, Yeah, yeah that's fine. Would you feel the need... Would you feel the need to check, Roswell? No, probably not. The upside, though, at least from my end, is that I've noticed a change. I didn't really want to make a big deal about it, but I, I've also been keeping my distance. But if you're sorry about not checking with us for, first, Dave, then I forgive you. What sort of friend would I be if I held that against you and let it sour the vacation? I'd be a Roswell, and no one wants to be Roswell. 
Right, ditto. All is forgiven. Well, not everything, but we're well on our way. At least as far as you and me, Dave, we're good. And of Tyson? I'm willing to keep a more open mind. Not necessarily about a clean slate, but only one way forward. Uh, same here, but uh, are we allowed to call each other out on behavior and decisions? You know, to avoid incidents like a couple days ago? I think that's fair, right? That extends to everyone, right? Of course. There were rumblings of agreement from everyone. With apologies out of the way, we split up. It's the conservatory. <laughs> you can read books here. We split up for a couple of minutes to round up some games. With the rec room being taken up with others watching TV, we figured we'd take another room just so we weren't talking over their show. Oh, Sal, uh, what did you grab? I... Oh, this was, I just did my Roswell voice. That <laughs> was completely wrong. That was terrifying. Uh, I, just, I, was stuck in, I was stuck in it for a second. Uh, oh boy. All right. Uh, I don't know. I just grabbed one at random from the shelf. I'm going to add can't read to Sal's character traits. I'm just going to... Consistently, he doesn't know what the letters mean. He very... He doesn't... I don't think he has a car. He doesn't know how to cook. He's the oldest character by significant margins, so he's inherently characterized by being somebody who hangs out around people much younger than him. Not just his sister, but his entire friend group at the moment, as far as we've seen. And at this point, I'm not sure if he knows how to read. I... Sal is an enigma. <laughs> I don't... How do you... How do you pick up a box whose purpose is to say what game it is on the outside and be like, I don't know what it is. I can't tell. You tell me. Deckard Kane, <laughs> please identify this object for me. <laughs> like, what do you mean? It says it on it. <laughs> like, even if you hadn't been paying attention, you just be like, uh... Kerkakasano? Kerkakasano? Hark, hark. <laughs> like, you just read the words that it says on the thing. Uh, what shelf? The one in the rec room. I almost did Roswell again. I was so <laughs> close to accidentally doing Roswell again. It's stuck. It's an infectious virus. Uh, <laughs> the one in the rec room. The others were talking about what to watch, so I went and took one before they could notice. Not being able to read would also help explain why he couldn't find ingredients from the cooking scene. Which would be presumably labeled with words. He held out the, the box in his hands, rattling it gently as he did so. Boggle? Does this count as a board game? It's, a me it's boggling because it's a metaphor for Sal. Not really, but I know how to play this one. You roll the dice in the box and make words with the letters. Oh yeah, counterpoint. Why did he suggest how to play Scrabble if he doesn't know how to read? I was gonna say, like, I was about to say counterpoint. I guess he did suggest Scrabble earlier. <laughs> Which is, Glad we all came upon that yeah. realization at the same Damn moment. It. <laughs> My joke, it's dead. Unlike my other theories, which are bulletproof. Oh, neat, I guess? I don't know how well I'd go, I'd go with something like that. I could go grab another one. No need, Sal. We have alternatives. Yeah, check it out. The other two flashed boxes of their own. I figured that we're in a mansion. I grabbed Clue. 
It is, it is interesting, though, that Sal pointed... He suggested Scrabble, but then grabbed Boggle. Which I feel like no one's ever played on purpose. Isn't that being a little insensitive? What? No, I like this game. What's wrong with this one? Our hyena friend is delusional and thinks we're in a murder mystery, despite no evidence of anything ever happening. I feel the eyes fall on me, making me sigh out. Sure, the idea of a murder in a mansion was a little too close to home, but I hadn't thought anything of it, given it was just a game. Well, uh, I grabbed Mousetrap. Does Mousetrap even have decisions in it? Uh, I haven't played these tiny baby children's games since I was a tiny baby child, but isn't that one of the several games where you just roll and then the game and you just told who won by rolling over and over again? Like you don't like choose at all, like snakes and ladders or whatever. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. Or, or playing um, Duel, the card game, which also involves no decisions. Yeah, it's just I'm running not... an engine. Yeah, I'm not uh, a board games person, believe it or not. Uh, I like tabletop, but uh, I haven't played a lot of like, when I say board games, I mean like traditional like family mouse hunt. Yeah, like family games. The stuff yeah. that you find in the aisle at Target as opposed to the aisle at Barnes & Noble. Yes, yes, exactly. Very different like, I, board I like game in, aisles. Yeah, I've played plenty of like House on Haunted Hill. I like Twilight Imperium. Like all that stuff is cool to yeah. me. I haven't played the family games, like a lot of them that just wasn't my my family growing up, so I have yeah, no whenever, idea. Whenever how to someone play out these seems games. apathetic towards the concept of board games, I'm like, oh no, you poor baby. You've probably you yeah. probably think I you think I mean Yahtzee. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You have, you have no idea what's out there. Oh. So uh, so we know we, we can we, we can add to the canon that Oswin is boring and has terrible taste in tabletop games. This is what he has here. Well, uh, I grabbed a mouse trap. Oh, I've played that before. I like putting all the pieces together when you set it up. I think you don't set it up. I don't think you put the pieces together when you set it up. I think you put the pieces together when you activate certain things. I think you start off with uh, no mousetrap, because I think the act of creating the mousetrap is the objective. Yes, but there are, there's like, I think there's stuff you like plug into the game board to start it so that you can start putting stuff together and like doing Maybe. fancy things, if I remember correctly. It's been a long time. I don't, I don't remember. It's, I don't remember how to play these games. It's very, yes, no, it, <laughs> we're completely, we're completely out of the loop here. It's very interesting seeing a bunch of adults group up to play games made for four-year-olds. Like, I'm just like, like, guys, there's real video games. You don't have to play Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> A stupid little, like, ch like choke-proof dice bubble. That's why they have those, <laughs> so you can't eat the dice. Like, if, you're, if your tabletop game is baby-proofed, I don't know if you need to be playing it when you're 19. <laughs> yeah. Also, for the record, to all of the audience out there, the best uh, child age family oriented tabletop game of all time is called The Amazing Labyrinth. That is actually, it has two, it has like two rules total, and it's still pretty amusing for adults to play as a quick thing. They don't have to explain much of it, outclasses everything that they're talking about here. It is a good thing to have for when you're trying to include some people that are just a little too drunk. <laughs> Then you just need to be able to play something. You mean while you play, right? No, you set up all the pieces before you can play, right? <laughs> this is Sal being the equivalent of like me collecting Pokemon cards but not knowing how to play it. Is the game all that complicated? I haven't played it before. No. You put together a little machine and try not to get caught, I think. It's kind of neat, but I think the copy I had was missing a few parts. Uh, 
Oh, well, where does this leave us? You grabbed Boggle, Dave? Because if this is a contest of words, prepare to lose. I actually sincerely do not know how to play Boggle. I have no idea. Yeah. Oh, no, this was Sal's. Roswell turned to Sal suddenly, grin unwavering. You dare challenge me to a game of words, Sal? Oh, okay. I looked to Orlando, confused. Uh... I admit, I don't expect you to keep up, but let's try an easy one. What's an Aona file, Sal? What is a toaster? Do you know this word? Uh, let's try to break it apart. Uh, O E sometimes is the root for like eggs. So, uh, that could be, that could be egg related. Uh, I think in some languages, it's also the root word for. No, uh, uh, in my head, I want to say, uh, I don't know. It sounds so familiar because I know that, I know that, uh, I think it's enophile is wine, but I don't know onophile. You got it. That's actually how it's pronounced. It's winophile. Oh, I have no idea. I don't know this word. Oh, okay. I, don't I, have have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> I was challenging your, your linguistics talents because I have no fucking clue what this word is. My guess is either someone who really likes eggs or someone who likes wine. Those are my two. <laughs> I didn't think Boggle could spell words that long. <laughs> I thought it was like a little table of like randomizing letter dice or something. I don't, I don't I know no if I'm idea. even imagining the right game. I imagine like a blue little stand-up tray table that has like maybe let's say like 25 like dice that have letters on the sides and you like shake it and different and then you get like randomized letters to work with or something. <laughs> I don't know. Without even thinking about it, you... Sal replied. What? <laughs> oh, hey. Uh, maybe I spelled it wrong. Maybe, uh, maybe I pronounced it wrong. Uh. That's a lover of wine. So the reason why I was pretty sure uh, Enophile was a lover of wine is because my boss at work is a card-carrying certified sommelier, and I've heard the word Enophile before, so I'm pretty <laughs> sure it means wine. But uh, I just assumed that it was spelled differently, so maybe not. Uh, this one's easy. Uh, okay. Perhaps that was too easy. How about chthonic? You would have to define words in Boggle. Uh, I don't think so. What's this chthonic? is also not how you play Scrabble. No, you don't define. I don't know any games you really define words. Is this a no? This is just Lovecraft a spelling bee. Word? This is just. Is this a made-up Lovecraft word? No, no. This comes from Greek, as so far as I remember. Chthonic chthonic worked for me. No. Do you not know what it means? No. It means uh, anything related to or originating from the underworld. Ah, uh, I think this came up in it's Hades. It's a Greek then, word, it? which is following a trend. Again, these are two Greek words now he has said. Yeah. And we know that someone speaking to Sal goes by the name fucking Hypnos. So again, oh. Roswell is the most evil person in this fucking group. Because Roswell's the one who's who, who was mind controlling Sal to die. Yeah, is probably. the clue here? This seems like a clue. Possibly. If it's not a clue, then it's almost it's like a strange coincidence. Yeah, it did look, it did seem familiar. I probably encountered this word in either uh, Hades or mm -hmm. that uh, the Forgotten City is that what's called the the Golden Rule game. Yeah, probably that one. I haven't played. Bless you. I didn't sneeze. Anything that relates to the underworld or just underground things, depending on how you're using it. So yeah, we've learned that Sal can in fact read. He's just yeah. selectively bad at reading. <laughs> <laughs> Sal's 
Sal is an enigma. Sal is a very in emotionally and also actually intelligent until it's time for him to have a screwball joke moment where he's completely useless. Mm -hmm. I think I think his quick replies have stunned Roswell. Perhaps he's just not. Perhaps he'd just not expected it to come from Sal of all people, the oldest of all of us. <laughs> Why would the oldest of us know things? I, uh, what's the matter? I honestly didn't imagine your vocabulary was so broad. You barely talk. That's why my what head's so dick wide. Hole. What an <laughs> absolute asshole. Fuck <laughs> you. Oh, Roswell, Roswell's such a piece of shit. Roswell is such a one-two combination of like not only thinking ill of everyone around him, but also voicing it with very little prompting. <laughs> Yeah, he is a complete ego narcissist. Uh, just because I don't talk doesn't mean I don't know words. Similarly, just because I can't read doesn't mean I don't know words. <laughs> 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 I... I guess not. Sorry, I just assumed wrong. I don't mind. If you'd started giving me advice, then we might have had some issues. Uh... Anyway, I've been looking to this direction for the last ten minutes. Uh, what did you bring, Dave? Anything good? Oh, uh, I just had a pack of Uno cards in my bag, so I grabbed that. That is that's a game that, that adults sometimes play. That, that's also how we know that Dave is, in fact, a psychopath, because he carries Uno cards with him, <laughs> you, like a crazy person who packed, wants to ruin friendships. He packed Uno for this trip. <laughs> imagine imagine just like going to a party and when people are like I don't know what to do you're like well don't worry I've got I've a copy got of Mario Uno. Party 8 in my backpack I also brought my acoustic guitar <laughs> <laughs> a jump scare so the only actual board games are Clue and Mousetrap I'm happy to play Uno I know how to play that I don't think anyone actually cares if you bring a card game to a board game night. No. <laughs> They're not functionally that different, and half and a lot of board games have cards. And no offense, but I'd much rather play Uno than Clue. Knowing how Sal's interpreted how knowing how Sal's interpreted how Mousetrap works. Roswell, seemingly awestruck by what Sal has come up come out with, sat down on the floor cross-legged, and Sal joined him. Orlando set the games we'd collected off the side and joined them on the floor. I shuffled the cards and took a seat, dealing them out. To my left was Roswell, to my right was Orlando, and Sal sat across from me. Play proceeds to the left of the dealer, right? Which means I go first. Roswell has the rules to Uno memorized. Roswell loves anything that lets him do something. <laughs> he placed a card down, passing his turn to Sal. Skip. Are they just gonna narrate a fucking Uno game? Well, they're right narrating now? that or that Sal also doesn't know how to play Uno. What do you mean, skip? Skip. I skip you. So, that's my turn, right? Uh. Reverse? I guess he played Skip. I thought he just... Yeah. I thought he was given a choice to play as Uno B, uh, play this number or this color, and he's like, just, nah. <laughs> I don't feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. Now you're skipping me. This is a problem. Because <laughs> I, I need the attention. <laughs> oh, no. Draw two. Draw two as well. Don't they stack up when you do that? Wait, what? Are we playing with those rules? I'm fairly certain you can't do that. That's how we played at home, I think. But those aren't the rules. Critical misses aren't actually in the dungeon master hand. <laughs> aren't actually in the player handbook. <laughs> And I don't really want to be picking up four cards, so draw two. Sorry, Dave. Wait, now I have to draw six? 
I sucked it up and drew more cards as Orlando placed another card down. Pro tip for people who want scenes like this, narrating a fucking game of Uno when we can't see the cards or the play state is not fun. This is it's an, annoying. <laughs> it's an interesting choice. I uh, I thought they were going to immediately set up that Sal doesn't know how to play Uno or something is what they were yeah. going for. We went around a few times before it was clear that, that somebody was about to win. Uno. Roswell placed a card down, flashing his last card in hand. What it was, I wasn't sure, because, uh, but I caught that it was red. Uno. Sal's poker face was strong. I didn't know. I didn't know what he had remaining as he placed his last card down. Uh, Uno. Same for Orlando. I looked at the cards in my hand, and no matter what I played, it seemed as though the game was probably going to be over by the time my turn rolled around again. I could play a wild card and keep the color red, meaning Roswell would win. Alternatively, I could skip Roswell and see if Sal had something to play. Or I could reverse it back to Orlando and hand him the victory. That all depends completely on whether or not they have the right card, though. My brow furrowed as I looked over my cards, thinking it over. Come on, Dave. It's your turn. So close. I was a bit too slow, I guess. Oh well. I looked at each of them in turn before deciding. I play... Do, do, do. The outcome of this game determines who lives and who dies today, I bet. <laughs> Say hello to the stakes. <laughs> Well, obviously, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to hit that, so, wait, no, you, there we go. <laughs> you know, that's not how this route, I don't know, it's, it's the cell route, regardless. <clears throat> I placed the card down, shooting Roswell an, up, an apologetic look. Sorry, Roswell. Also, Dave's hand was entirely specials. <laughs> he had every possible, like, weird move card. Sal's face lit up slowly as he eased his final card down. A skip card as well, just a different color. <clears throat> I win. Drat, I was so close. At least you were closer than me. Only way I was gonna win is if neither of you had anything. Even then it would have been dicey. Oh, well. Shall we go again? I gathered up the cards and shuffled, only noticing halfway through that Roswell had his hand out, out for the deck. My turn to deal, Dave. We played game after game, each one seemingly revealing that none of us had the same understanding of what the rules were. At some point I remembered looking behind me to see Ty and Dean walk, uh, walking by, talking about something, but I didn't catch the details of the conversation. I must have been zoning out, as the next thing I knew, Orlando was nudging me with a deck of cards. Earth to Dave, it's your turn to shuffle. Oh, sorry. I guess I must have been daydreaming. About what? Anything good? Thinking about boys. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just tired. Is it time for a break? I wouldn't mind one. Then let's have a break. And give us a chance to get a drink and maybe do something else for a bit. That sounds less like a break and more like just stopping entirely. Oh, well, I guess it does. <clears throat> not that that's a bad thing. It might not be a bad idea to check in with the others anyway. If that's the case, I think I might go to the pool. The pool? Really? Right. I have things I need to think about. 
the water might do me some good. I had to sneeze and hit go off in the middle of the thing. <laughs> uh, that was really rough. Welcome to Tozer Dies want... on Camera. Oh. Oh boy. All right. All right. Oh, hold on. Come on. Breathe. All right. Back. You, I'm centered. Do your breathing. Do your breathing. Do your breathing. Uh, did you want some company? Yeah. I mean, I know I'm probably not the best choice, but. I'm happy to be a sounding board if you need it, Sal. No, but thank you, both of you. I explicitly trust Dave and none of you. I felt Sal's eyes on me briefly before he looked away. I wasn't sure if that was an invitation or a sign that I shouldn't bother asking. I stayed quiet all the same. Watching, me, watching him go, he shot me the same look as he left, disappearing out of sight. I think I might go for a wander too. Maybe go enjoy the hot tub before dinner. Not gonna give Sal his space? Read the room, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I figure he can swim or whatever and I'll just sit in the hot water. There's enough space where he can be undisturbed while I just hang out, right? The pool area is pretty big. I'm sure it'll be fine. Besides, just in case he decides he wants to talk through what's bothering him, then Dave is nearby. True. Well, I better go get changed and I'll see you guys at dinner. Yep, see you then. Don't look at them. Don't look at them. After swinging by my room to get changed, I headed over to the pool. I could already see Sal, although he didn't seem to be here to swim. Instead, he seemed to be sitting by the edge of the pool with his feet in the water, splashing gently. It's awkward. <laughs> we showed up changed and he's not. As I entered, he looked up before turning his attention back towards the water. He didn't say anything, and instead just sat there as if I wasn't around. I sat down next to him, slipping my feet into the water and splashing about in the same way. I was hoping you'd come. I left several clues. <laughs> I can still leave if you'd rather be alone, though. No, it's all right. That was a weird response to, I was hoping you'd come. <laughs> <laughs> I can still leave. What? What the fuck, Dave? <laughs> I think I have the words to talk about what I've been thinking about these past couple of days. Oh, well, I'm able to listen if you want. Sal breathed in deep, shaking his head. He didn't say anything. Instead, he seemed to just watch his reflection in the water. Minutes passed, and just as I was about to get up, he spoke again. Voice held low. So my sister... I froze, sneaking a glance at him before returning my attention to the water. He was staring at his reflection still, and something told me that this was the time to be quiet, rather than butt in with questions. I've been trying to come out with this for a while, or at least talk about it, but people keep cutting me off. And with what happened to Orlando, I had to tell him to contextualize what my reaction was like. He sighed again, pulling his gaze up to the sky. Anyway, I think I know what's bothering you, Dave. There were a few moments of silence before he looked at me. A cue I took to reply. You do? I don't know who it was for you, but for me it was my sister. The comment hung in the air for a while before he spoke again. The voice held barely above a whisper. My sister is dead. 
No. I was wondering if that was where this was going. But also, you don't know that Dave's dad died? Is that the implication? Is this not, was this not, not universal knowledge? I thought everyone knew he this. He said he told some of them that his dad was alive, I thought. Did he? What? Yeah, when he was talking about it, he was like, I tell some of them that like he, you know, he's still here, but, or something like that. Did I misunderstand who he was talking about? I don't, I don't remember that line. I don't know what you're talking about, but I don't know. It's a long, it's a lot of text, so who knows? But, uh, I don't know. I, there's like a few characters that hold him, that handled him with kid gloves seemingly explicitly because his dad died, or at least they've acknowledged it a few times, but it comes up very infrequently and he only did the whole cell phone scene recently so we yeah. haven't dealt with the dad thing very much but i just i i thought i caught in there when he was talking about in that scene he was like you know in the, in the some of them know scene? but i've when he's sitting on his bed and he's looking at his phone talking like doing the voicemail listening to what his dad had to say he mentioned mm -hmm. something about uh you know some of them know but not all of them know was basically the impression that i got from it Hmm. So. Yeah, I don't know. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I mean, yeah, it's I whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Every now and then you or Stephanie will just comment on something that I just have no memory of and I have there's just no way of checking it easily. Yeah. Uh, I felt a chill run down my spine, wondering what everything Sal had said about her had meant up until now. When I spoke to Orlando, I had to tell him that the prospect of dating him didn't interest me as much as keeping him as a younger brother of sorts. Part of me feels I was being a little unfair, but in the same way I feel as though he was being unfair too. Unfair how? I get the impression that he may have been seeking something more from me going into things. I'd have considered it too, perhaps, if things were different. It's only a guess, but did you lose someone dear to you as well, Dave? Assuming you want to talk about it. I nodded slowly, although left it there. I see. Recent. Again, I nodded. And soon enough, I felt Sal's arm over his shoulder, over my shoulder. He didn't pull me close. He didn't rest his weight on me. But it was comforting in its own way. If not everyone here even knows that Dave's dad died recently, they just are not a very close friend group to begin with. Yeah, no, I don't think so. For me, it's been years. She died when we were both still young. Okay, so I've been I've been misreading a lot of this. Then, yeah, I thought they were because previous conversations about this seemed to made it feel like oh, that's cute. Sal has like a large age difference, younger sister that he like takes care of sometimes or something, and like I'm just imagining this like 26 year old man like go like you know doing tea parties with his like eight-year-old sister or something and like like humoring her and playing along but i i guess they were the same age approximately like it was a no yeah. the usual sibling situation so he's just thinking he's just talking about stuff that happened like 20 years ago yeah so for what it's worth i think the game i think sal was kind of deliberately ambiguous about that so yeah. that's the way the game made it seem until now where it's supposed to be revealed that his sister was dead even though we kind of all already knew that <laughs> kind of all already figured that much yeah but i thought there was some kind of endearing like oh big man sal's like he's like he's, he's yeah. got no ego about it he'll go and like play along with his sister and stuff when i think of sal the concept of him dying seems near impossible he's so big and resilient at least physically that i just assumed it was hard to kill a crocodile my lack of questioning seemed to prompt Sal to explain further. It's not easy to kill a crocodile. 
that's also a strange follow-up, honestly. <laughs> it's possible, but we're still mortal. You see, if you have a silver bullet. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just like most people who die. I don't know. I guess accidents happen, but like it's not my default assumption that someone died in an accident. If they died, it's often like a tragic illness of some kind. Uh, so I wasn't yeah. there. And I don't expect illnesses to be something that a crocodile's like especially resilient to in some special way. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We're like Klingons. We have redundant organs. <laughs> Again, there was a pause. Did he want me to ask? Did he just not want to say? I gulped, trying to look at him. Sal, how did... <laughs> I killed oh. her. Yeah, I mean, we knew that. Um... <laughs> That does logically follow after it's not easy to kill a crocodile. <laughs> yeah. I really had to work at it. I, uh, she I was possessed by the devil and I had to take her out, Dave. I had to save the world, Dave. Where are they Where are they going with this? I... <laughs> I'm assuming he has a guilty conscience and, like, an accident happened that he was responsible for, but... The phrasing of his I last two lines. I was taking her lines. on a walk through the park, and she attacked a puppy, and it was the only way out. <laughs> his she last just two... wouldn't let go, Dave. She the just wouldn't let go. <laughs> the phrasing of his last two lines feel like the equivalent of like people really underestimate how hard it is to to, to decapitate someone. <laughs> like, <laughs> like he had to really put like some elbow grease into killing his sister. And it's like, um, um, what the fuck is this confession? <laughs> The comment echoed in my head, and I began to shake. He held eye contact with me, face a mix between stoic and grave, but I wasn't sure how much of that was me starting to feel a little scared. What if this is the ending? Like, you die in this scene? This is the end of the Sal route? Is you just die on Tandine? Get in the water, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I killed her. As he pulled his eyes away to the reflection in the pool again, he sighed. Did... Did you really? I may as well have. She drowned. I was supposed to be watching her. I was watching her, but... Something went wrong. Oh, so this is probably why the hydrophobia then? Because he lost his sister in the water. Yep. Nope. So yeah, yeah, uh, Orlando, take get lessons from somebody else that doesn't have specific nope. trauma over someone not <laughs> knowing how to take swim. Away. Like, That's there's... the takeaway here. This <laughs> is give lessons from someone else. Yes, <laughs> that is the takeaway. That you do you're not gonna need... die, Orlando. He's say... irresponsible. No, that's not. A, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that don't put Sal in the situation <laughs> where you, he has to fucking face his trauma over his sister drowning so that Orlando <laughs> can get swim lessons. Like that's not to scale. That's not. That's not necessary. Yeah, but I'm under the impression that he's not telling everyone that he has hydrophobia because his sister died. Given that he literally just said like. I've only just now found the words for what I've been trying to talk about. Yeah, but I'm saying that's our takeaway, is that Orlando yes, should sure. not be pursuing swim lessons. It's fucking Sal up, and it's unnecessary. Which, you know... But Orlando doesn't this, know that. Yeah, but it's telegraphed by, I'll point out once again, how the way Sal was already talking about the swim lessons, already telegraphs, like, he's like... I, like, I even joked back then that it was like, and swimming hasn't been the same since the war. Like, something's fucked up yeah. with him and swimming. Like, don't push him on this. Just do, just Also, just though, it. it's also not... though, he said that and then has been swimming <coughs> literally every scene since. Yeah. No, he swims that's fine. Like me, that's he's like me being fuck, like, he's I, was, I was. I'm saying he's fucked up about the idea of swim lessons. See, I don't. Yes, I, wanna, I think it's more. He's freaked he's out about the idea of, of dealing with somebody who doesn't know how to swim. Yeah, yeah, but no one else would know that. They just know he offered to give swim lessons, and maybe swimming is a little weird for him. 
Yeah, but we just know that he has repeatedly postponed the swim lessons while va- while hinting at something fucked up, which is when you just stop trying to get swim lessons from that person because sure. like no one should have to work through their fucking character arc to give you swim lessons. Like that's yeah, something's yeah. up here, <laughs> even without the story. It's it's one of those it's it's about that emotional intelligence that characters sometimes yeah, yeah, have yeah. and other ones super don't. Is you you pick up on this at some point that. Because Orlando has enough information to work with based on how Sal's reacting that like, yeah, no, don't do this. Just just move on. There's other shit to do on this trip. It was my fault. I should have gone in to save her and I didn't. But why? I was scared. The moment she started screaming, I seized up. Only after the screaming stopped, I realized what had happened and tried to pull her out, but... He left the comment there, trailing off. It's not your fault. It's kind of your fault. It's a bit your fault (laughs) in that your job was to take care of her, and then the thing happened, and you knew it was happening, and then you just... watched her die? That is a little rough to... not blame him for like it's I know you don't you don't you don't tell someone <laughs> that their that their trauma is their fault and that what happened but I mean like the facts the facts of the scenario are unkind it was the first thing that came to mind and while I, I meant it even I thought it sounded forced if what he was saying was true then it couldn't have it couldn't have been his fault right it's not your fault if Sal's hand, I felt Sal's blah, 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 <laughs> sand. I felt Sal, Sal's hand tense on my shoulder, looking to face his gaze, narrowed at a point far off, somewhere above the line of the water. His expression soured, the frown intensifying, and his mouth turning into a snarl. Not my fault. He growled, turning to me. The grip on my shoulder tightened to the point of being painful. Not my fault. You know how many times I've heard that? How many people at the funeral told me that? I... I'm sorry. He grabbed me with his other hand, shaking me roughly. Do you know what my parents said? You know what they didn't say, Dave? His voice was loud, desperate. I hadn't heard him bellow like that, ever. It shook me to the core. Sal, I'm sorry, I didn't know. And the next moment I was roughly handled, the world span. And the next time I had my bearings, Sal had lifted me up and was holding me over the surface of the pool. He had me by the collar, and I hung there, struggling. And holding onto his arms, lest he drop me into the water. Is he doing the fucking, like, villain choke carry that's right now? I guess so. Like, he's holding Dave up by his neck over the pool? And you know what they didn't say, Dave? They didn't say I shouldn't have killed you! And then he dunks you in the water. (laughs) Technically not in the contract. (laughs) (laughs) I could swim, but his snarl was distracting me from such. I'm sorry, Sal. Stop apologizing. Just stop. He shook me again and I whined, scared. I'm... I'm... I kept telling myself not to cry. So much that my fears manifested instead in an anguished wail instead. I watched as Sal's expression softened slightly at first before snapping into one of fear, staring at me over the pool. In stark contrast to how I ended up suspended over the pool, he eased me back down onto solid ground before releasing me and shuffling back quickly so I was out of arm's reach. We stared at each other for a while, both of us shaking for different reasons, it seems. Sal broke the silence first, his his voice breaking, stuttering as he got his words out. Okay, so yeah, definitely don't give Orlando swim lessons, because if he says the wrong thing, you're going to just drown him, apparently. Like, this is... I think he's counseling. No, I don't th- I, this you, is, you should give Roswell swimming lessons, though. Yeah, no, definitely. I, 
I, I, I'm, I'm. He didn't make a move. I didn't make a move, watching him try and piece his words together. He took a deep breath, speaking once more in a whisper. I'm sorry. See, yeah, this is when you apologize, Sal, not earlier. Again, I was put in an awkward space of wanting to help and wanting to keep my distance. It was a feeling that I was all too familiar with, but even then, it wasn't any easier to handle. When Sal dropped to the ground, I took a step forward. He sat on the ground, hugging his knees, rocking back and forth gently. Sal? I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. No. No, you shouldn't, but... What happened? Saying it wasn't my fault. It's what you're meant to say. It's what you're meant to say, even if it's not true. That was the one thing my parents never told me. I apologized over and over, but... Eventually I got old enough and I moved out this way. And then? That's it. That's my sin, my guilt, my crime, and I live with it every day. It's what caused my hydrophobia, why I don't like talking to people, why I treasure Orlando as a brother. I mean, technically you had your hydrophobia first, right? Because you froze and you were scared to get in the water when she was drowning. So technically it didn't cause your hydrophobia. It just was the thing that triggered it. Uh, maybe. It definitely, he definitely panicked in response to her being in danger. But he eyed me carefully and I sat down opposite of him, right where he set me back down. I work through it. I'm strong, but the guilt wears me down. Sal, you're not. No. Not suicidal. Dean had the same concerns. He knows too? Not specifically, but I mentioned something once to him and he took it poorly. Doesn't matter what it was, but he went on about it for days afterwards. At least he cares. Oh, at least he cares like you. I wondered what I should be doing. Sitting there opposite him felt like I should be doing something more, but... I also assumed that approaching carelessly might end up with me in the pool. Approach. I edged closer, Sal's eyes on me as I crawled forward. When I was in arm's reach, I hesitated for only a moment before going in for a hug. As I went to hug him around the neck, he quickly found perches on my chest and shoved me back. I felt like... it felt like being punched, except with the palm of his hand instead. I landed hard on my back, and it hurt. As I struggled to sit up, I noticed he backed away a few measures to restore the distance <clears throat> to restore the distance between us he initially had. His voice was distant, and he looked away, as if talking to someone else. I'm sorry. I should be better. I need to be better. We've spoken about my problems enough. It's not fair. Sal. Sal, we've spoken about your problems once, and you've literally played therapist to every other person in this group multiple times. I... please, can we change topics? I looked down, frowning. Whatever I was feeling made me sick to my stomach. That feeling that I should help. That I could if I just had something more. Sal? Yes. I know it's not the same, but if... If you want to talk about your sister sometime... Please stop. I... Oh. But thank you, really. Sometimes... 
Sometimes I wish Dad was still around. He'd know what to do here. Your dad? Was he? Yeah. He was. Unfortunately, even with all of the wisdom in the world, there's nothing that can be done. After all, there's nothing left to help with. Nothing that isn't mine alone to deal with. Oh. I guess I always assumed, or hoped, that the police had all the answers. Dad sure did, at least. Your dad was a police officer. Alright, I think we need to cut this off here. We're running out of time. <laughs> This, this scene might then he be... deserved it. The world is better <laughs> without him, Dave. I think this scene might be starting a whole extra conversation, so, so we're going to have to stop it here. <laughs> yep. Yeah.